Hello, hello, morning. Welcome to the Stamping with Val Facebook page with me, Valerie Moody, uh, UK Stampin' Up demonstrator. Hello, I'll give you all a few moments to jump on. I forgot to put my reminder out this morning. Totally slipped my mind. I need to schedule those, I think. Um, so I'm going to boot up the, the uh, iPad so that I can see any comments as they pop in. I think we're going to be a little bit thin on the ground today. Um, I suspect everybody is, um, well, if they're not in Amsterdam, um, they're missing it. <laughs> um, but, it, you know, if they're, if they're not in Europe and haven't gone to Amsterdam, then perhaps you're, you're somewhere else in the world and you're heading towards some um, venues in your country. So, um, in which case, you're probably not watching me this morning. You're off waiting, 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 waiting to see the new catalogue. That's going to be really, really exciting. I must confess, I'm rather sad. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> there we are. Move these stumps out of the way. My desk is tidy. <gasps> oh my goodness. When I flip the camera around, morning, Emily. Oh, Emily's not gone. No, we can we can be miserable together, Emily. And I uh, feel sad and, oh. I hated not going and I keep saying to, why haven't you gone Valerie why haven't you gone and then I remember why I haven't gone and I had good reasons for not going um it costs quite a bit of money to go by the time you've paid for your flight and your ticket and your hotel and your food and you know it all costs money so that's one reason why I didn't go the other reason is my children break up for the Easter holidays today so it kind of timing wise didn't wasn't great for us several reasons why I didn't go but then yesterday was tough I don't know about you Emily but yesterday was hard my Facebook I've threatened to leave Facebook for like three days or something <laughs> my Facebook feed is just full of people having fun in Amsterdam so you're hating it oh your husband's away again oh, yeah you poor thing Oh, and Sally's here too. And Sally hasn't gone. I was chatting with Sally last night. She hasn't gone for the same reason as me. Kids and money and lots of other reasons not to go. Hi, Sally. So we can all just be here. So have you seen any little little sneaky things? I've heard a thing or two. I've seen tiny little bits. I'm so excited. Apparently we're going to love it. It's amazeballs. So it's just that waiting now till Monday night till we can see it. So for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, the new Stampin' Up! catalogue will be available to view um, on Monday evening for demonstrators. So eight o'clock Monday evening, it's going to go up on the demonstrator website for us to go and have a little look. So for those of us who aren't attending events and haven't got a copy, a physical copy in our hot and sticky little mitts, um, we can see it online then, eight o'clock Monday night. So it's just a waiting game now to see what's in there. So, um, but if, if the rumours that I've heard are to be to be believed and and the little the few little bits that I've gleaned it's gonna be good it's gonna be amazing I can't wait to see it oh it's so exciting um but in the meantime my Facebook feed is full of Amsterdam's great oh I've got a catalogue oh everything's marvellous and I'm like stop it stop it I want to see so um the other thing that we will have eight o'clock Monday evening is the retired list so if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or even if you are, the retired list will also be released Monday evening and you will be able to see what's going. And I kind of, I like to, those people who've got the copy of the new catalogue, again, they can see what's not in there. But for those of us who don't, we don't know. We don't know what made it in. We don't know what's gone. So I always kind of like that retired list time. I don't know about you guys, but I... Um, I pull those retired stamp sets off my shelf. My shelf usually ends up looking right there. Um, but I pull them off and I put them in a box and kind of they're, they're ready to go. And I've made space for all the new stuff. And I know that I ought to focus on those retired things, but I tend to be a bit like, yeah, you don't count anymore. <laughs> You're not good enough for me. 
I'm terrible. Aren't I mean to my stamp sets? So I know some ladies who keep all their stamp sets, all of them. My craft room's not big enough for that. Even tidy like it is. I spent, I was, I was procrastinating. Tuesday morning, I think it was, maybe Wednesday, was supposed to be doing something else entirely. Didn't want to do it, couldn't face doing it. And my excuse was I can't do it. The craft room's too messy. I can't find anything. I don't have the space to do what I'm supposed to be doing. I shall tidy it. Two and a half hours later, it's not perfect. Still, it's never perfect. I, I don't think I'm capable of getting it perfect. Um, but it is much improved. Emily's ready for a clear out. I just, it seems to have been a long year. And it's not even a year, really, because the new catalogue doesn't come till June, which is two months um <laughs> to count that how sad's that <laughs> with my fingers um but yeah it, it feels like ages it feels like ages <clears throat> so yeah I'm ready I had a look through yesterday I do like to have a little guessing game with myself as to what is going to go oh Jodie's here too hi Jodie we're never happy with our craft room we're not actually I spent all this week telling my husband about how I would like to have a dedicated crafting space and then a separate dedicated like space to leave the laptop up and then I tend to have my dedicated photo space and behind me this side I tend to have my dedicated big shot space um, and I don't think there's actually room to put in the dedicated computer space but I was complaining because I have to put the laptop away to craft and craft away to laptop because I have to use the same space for that and um, so I was moaning to him and he's like you've not long had that craft room done you're not getting it done again <laughs> so but no what, we were talking about stamp sets what were we saying about the stamp sets yeah I like to have a little guessing game with myself what what's going to go and I've been a demonstrator for nine years so I've kind of kind of got a bit of a feel for for how it works and how long things are likely to stay so I can kind of look at my stamp sets and say well we've had that x number of years I don't see that sticking around any longer some stamp sets stay with us so as far as I'm aware lovely as a tree has been in the catalogue something like 25 years or something it whenever it came into the catalogue it's never left it stayed there the whole time and rumour has it it will never leave so yes nine nine years in August it will be and then next year's my 10 year anniversary so, so I'm going to convention next year I say that every, I'm never missing one again and I've missed I think this is the second one I've missed that might be the third second one so I try I never miss the local ones because actually they're only held about an hour up the road from where I live so that's great so I still don't know neither do I I don't have it either <laughs> I've never owned it it's not my cup of tea at all no not not my thing so no I don't have it either so but yeah I've been having a bit of a look through and there's a few that I'm like mm. and some of them some of them only stay for a year I guess if they're not big sellers and I'm looking at them going well will that stay I can only base it on what I've used and what I sell and obviously my tastes are different to all the other demonstrators so you know, there might be stamp sets that I go, why is that staying? Like lovely as a tree. <laughs> um, so Jodie's coming up to three years and you've been to two on stage. You wish you could have made it this time. So you're in Australia, aren't you, Jodie? So what would have been the nearest one for you to go to Sydney? Or I don't, I, I, I only know of the Sydney one. I assume there's more than one perhaps in Australia. It's a big old country. I imagine you have another one somewhere, one on each side perhaps top bottom left right not in the middle I know that's the hot bit <laughs> I know that um I yeah I always go to the local events because they're not far away so there's no excuse for that I don't have to stay overnight nothing I can just pull up there in the morning and come home again afterwards you would go to Sydney you're in Brisbane that means nothing <laughs> that could be the other side of the country that could be the town next door be how far between Brisbane and Sydney, JD? Because I'm, I don't know. Baz has joined us. Hello, Baz. You've just got back from boot camp. Boot. I hope that's stamping boot camp and not like fitness boot camp, like round a field and press ups in the mud. Is it? We should have stamping boot camp. 
That would be cool. That's a good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> So Baz is going to a not on stage event tomorrow and she hasn't invited me and I'm quite upset. <laughs> I think it's a different team to the one I'm in so maybe I'm not allowed to go but it is a fitness thing. Ugh. I've made chocolate brownies and bread. That's what I've done. I did walk the children to school this morning so um, because I haven't got a car. My car's in the garage getting a little ding fix bumped into something in a car park <laughs> 10 hours from Sydney that's quite a long way is that car or flying I'm being really I'm being really picky now Jodie I want all the details but 10, 10 hours is a long way was then was there not one closer to you so I'm with you bring on the chocolate yeah I've got class tonight I'm looking in my pockets for a tissue and I don't have one so I should just sniff um I've got class tonight and um that's by car. Oh, not flying. Okay. All right. Still, it's a bloody long way to drive, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> will be a few years, though, before it's in our market. What? What were the comments before? <laughs> what have I been talking about? It will be a few years before it's in our market. No. Nope. Clarify, Baz. So, yes, I've got class tonight. I always like to cook something for class on stage. Well, it should be um, November next year. So November 18, it'll be back in Europe again. So, yes, it is a little bit of a wait, I admit. Um, and then I've but, but I've actually been invited to go to Canada in November, the weekend before Salt Lake City on stage. And there's part of me that's like, oh, I could go to Canada and then I could fly to Utah and go to one stage in America. However, me and flying don't agree, which is part of the reason I haven't gone to Amsterdam. <laughs> so how I think I'm going to fly to Canada and then fly from Canada to into America and then fly from America out again, I have no idea. Nor be away from home all that time, nor go to Canada without my husband because he desperately wants to go to Canada and I don't think he'd ever forgive me if I went without him. So, apart from, and it's on my birthday weekend and all sorts. So, it would be great to go, but I'm, I'm not, I don't think I will, unfortunately. I don't think I'll get to go. So, right, where are we at? I've been waffling on for 15 minutes already. That's good. You're going to Canada for your summer holidays. Oh, well, jealous. We watched um, we watched a programme last weekend, I don't know, it was just on, I think, about the train that goes across Canada called the Canadian. Paul's parents have actually been on it for a while as well and it looks great, it looks fabulous. I'm all for that kind of travelling. I'm all for that kind of travelling, indoors for a start, although I have to now start spending more time outdoors. So, um, for various reasons, I had some blood tests taken and um, I have very low vitamin D levels, apparently, uh, and no idea how long for. So I'm having to take a huge dose of vitamin D every week and then get it checked again in six weeks. And I've got to get my bone density checked again because vitamin D is a bit like calcium. It's all your bones and osteoporosis and things like that. So I've got to go and have all those things checked. So that's no, it's not good at all. I'm a bit, I don't, obviously don't know what the damage there is. So all I can do is improve the vitamin D for now. But I'm kind of in a rock and a hard place because I'm very fair skinned. And so if I spend a lot of time in direct sunlight, I would burn easily and I'm advised to cover up. And then my vitamin D is very low and I'm advised to go out uncovered in the sunshine. So I'm kind of can't win, can I? So, and there's not a lot of sunshine in my craft room. I don't, I don't think that counts. You have to be outside. The girl suggested I could take up nude sunbathing in the garden, to which I replied, I don't think so. Sunny Jo would be up for that though, I bet. <laughs> not with me on her own, obviously. <laughs> or, or with someone else. Mm. Tell us, Sally Jo, a bit of nude sunbathing for you. Um, it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me at all. Um, so, yeah. Mm, could you not get a special lamp? I don't think that works the same way. I think it does have to be real sunlight. I suppose I know you, like, you have those lamps for like sad that give you the light 
but I don't think that works for vitamin D, not that I'm aware of anyway. So you just take this huge dose. They've got, they've got to take this massive dose to begin with to bring it back up. And then presumably I'll just end up taking it forever. Jody has nude beaches. What, in Australia? Do you? We don't have nude beaches here. I've got a feeling they have some in Europe, maybe like the south of France, maybe Italy, maybe somewhere like that. Not in the UK. It's too blooming cold in the UK. Even at the peak of the summer, if you go onto a British beach, it's still blooming freezing. <laughs> God, blimey. No, thank you very much. <laughs> There's too much of me to be that uncovered. It would not be pretty. You have one in Mablethorpe. So there are nude beaches in the UK. Okay, pro proving me all wrong here. Proving me all wrong. There's a nude beach in Mablethorpe. For those of you who aren't from the UK, Mablethorpe is on the East Coast. Um, surely that borders the North Sea, which is obviously cold all year round. I would not sure I'd go for that. Or was there no vitamin D deficiency in Queensland, except when we flood? Oh, have you been in that storm, Jodie? I've read about that storm. I still don't have a tissue in my pocket, no matter how many times I put my hand in there. Um, <clears throat> I hope you've all been fine from that flood and haven't been affected. None of my friends, hopefully, have been affected by all of that. So... Because you've seen huge rainfall and, and things, haven't you? So, and big storms and stuff. So, I hope that hasn't affected you. But it, it's odd when you're used to a certain type of weather and then you get something very different. Um, so, and that seems to be happening all over the world. Yeah, nowadays, doesn't it? It's usually full of old men. And yes, it is the North Sea. <laughs> nice. No, I, I think I'll give it a miss. Thanks, Emily. You're not selling it to me somehow. <laughs> so, mm, it's an hour away from us. What, the storms and the floods and things? That's still... Mm, it is scary. Yeah, I'd be scared. I'd be scared. Mm, I don't live anywhere near floody type areas. Fortunately, I'm quite safe where I live. Um, Weather-wise, it's a bit boring where I live, actually. So... Um, but then sometimes when it's scary, boring is good. So, right then. So where are we up to? Because now I've been waffling for 20 minutes. I love chatting with you all. It's great. Do you like the new products, the new colours? I do like the new colours. So, um, so three of the new colours are now available to pre-order. So we can discuss those. They are Lemon Lime Twist, uh, Tranquil Tide and something to do with figs fresh fig okay those are the three that have been released they're on pre-order so we can talk about those now i do actually know the names of the other two but we can't talk about that at the moment so but the three we can talk about now. so we've got lemon lime twist which is honestly a lemon lime mixed together it is really bright really zingy and zesty and i think i'm going to love it usually what happens is when i think i'm going to love it um i usually don't <laughs> that's what normally happens i look at them and visually i love them and then the one i think i'm going to love is the one i don't love at all so last year i was convinced i was going to be in love with dapodemin denim and I, I i don't ever use it ever at all i think the ink pad has sat there unused for the whole year so can you get just the colors yes Baz, you can as a demonstrator you can order just the colors on their own as a customer in May, they come as part of a bundle. Um, so, but but you as a demonstrator, you can just actually go and order the three colours because that's all I've done. There must be a pink. Maybe two. <laughs> um, loving the new dyes. Not for, the new dyes are very clever, very imaginative. I love the way that they just cut little bits, cut little bits. Um, the papers and the stamps and everything don't, they, they're not doing it for me personally either. It's not my cup of tea. Um, Emily is loving the new colours and she thinks Tranquil Tide's going to be a favourite. So let's discuss them. So Lemon Lime, yes, it doesn't really go in with anything from what I've seen. It's just bright and zingy and pow. It'll look great with black and white actually. It'll look fabulous with those as just that zingy pop of colour. Tranquil Tide is somewhere between Bermuda Bay and Island Indigo. So it's more um, darker, obviously, than Bermuda Bay and a bit more bluey, 
I would say. Um, less green, not as dark as the Island Indigo, but slots in between those two tranquil tiles. Maybe a bit more greeny, perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> and then Fresh Fig, which again, I'm finding it. If anybody remembers the old Blackberry Bliss, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, I have to say. Um, it is not as dark as eggplant, for example, but obviously darker than plum. It's kind of, it's got a, a bit of a berry feel to it. Um, yeah, it's a kind of an oceany colour, yeah. Depends what colour your oceans are, obviously. <laughs> Bright blue ones, like, a, no, not that. Um, but yeah, so they look, they look good, they look good. Um, if you're not a demonstrator, you probably have no idea what we're talking about. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so demonstrators can currently pre-order a three of the new ink colours and a suite of products known as Eastern Palace. OK, if you get my newsletter, there'll be a few, bit of a sneaky peek, a few more details about that. Not many demonstrators have been talking about it simply because as customers, you can't order it until the 1st of May. So there's no point us banging on about it to you and then you getting all hyped up about it. And then you're like, but I can't get it. I can't buy it. So that's probably why you haven't seen too much about it. And most demonstrators probably don't have a great deal of it in their hands anyway. And perhaps they're going off to convention. So even if it arrives, they haven't got it. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you thought, yeah. Remind me. I just found a pack of Black Blue Bliss yesterday, actually, while I was having a... Whenever I did that clear out, so not yesterday. Oh, why do I always get an itchy nose when I do these? Um, I was having a bit of a sort out of the card, and I found some retired cards. I found a whole pack of Black Blue Bliss. So... Um, so yes, yeah, so you'll start to see some more information about the um, Eastern Palace. So you'll be able to buy two bundles during May, um, a small bundle with some ink colours and some stamps and some bits and bobs, and then a bigger bundle that gets you stamps and matching dies and more ink colour stuff. And I think you get some freebies and stuff with it as well, I think, when you order. So two bundles available. So more information is going to come out about that in the next couple of weeks. Um, but again, you can't buy it yet. So don't don't worry about it too much. So unless, of course, you desperately want to get your hands on it right this second, in which case you could join Stamping Up and you could choose one of the bundles that we're currently able to buy as part of your starter kit. So if you think that might interest you, get in touch with your nearest demonstrator. If you don't have one, come to me. <laughs> And uh, we can sort that out for you. And that also means that you would be able to see the new catalogue on Monday when it's released to demonstrators to view online. And um, when we get pre-order from the new catalogue and things like that. So so you'll be in right at the start of all those things. So um, we're also at the beginning of a quarter as well. So now's a great time to join, actually, if you're thinking about it. So let me know. Get in touch. You can drop me an email if you like or um, send me a Facebook message, Messenger, all sorts of things, you can get in touch. Right then, let's get on and do some crafting today, shall we? Because um, I'm talking loads. So the card I've got for you today, and you might have seen it on the blog yesterday, and it was my Global Design Project Challenge entry again. And this time the challenge was a colour challenge, and they gave you navy and white, and then they were kind of like, you can add one other colour. And I, when they did this add your own colour last time, I was like, wow, really? I find that quite hard to do. And I looked around, what, I, was, I was leaning towards Watermelon Wonder um, uh, because that's going to retire soon and I love it. And that would go beautifully with navy. That would be really nice. Um, I was leaning a bit towards yellow at one point because I've been on a bit of a yellow kick and that would be really nice too. In fact, quite a lot of things go with navy, really. You can't go wrong, terribly wrong. And then I was sat here and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go red. I'm going to go real red. And then because I had navy as well, I was like, this is really reminding me of um, the um, Union Jack. So this is the card I made this this week for this um, challenge. Hi, Carrie. Five minutes. Oh, quick. We'll, we'll make something quick in five minutes. Don't worry. Right. Hello, Carrie's not gone either. Carrie rescued me last time I was on stage and made sure I got home safely because I'm such a rubbish traveller and I got really nervous. Um, 
so so yeah I've gone ahead and I've made the Union Jack for the UK and I've just put a hello here I've used two stamp sets to make this card I have used the um, Happy Celebration stamp set the Sin Spring Summer catalogue at the moment will it carry over who knows would you like it to carry over? Would you like to see it come across? I don't really feel like I've got my money's worth out of it just yet. So I could be tempted to have it come across and use it a bit longer. I quite like it, what I have done. Um, hopefully they'd bring those um, die, uh, embossing folders across with it as well. Okay, and we're using this stamp set, this stamp and this one up here. And then I also put work of art with it as well. And I'm sure lots of you have got this because this was a pre-order stamp set from an annual catalogue. Or oh, not last year, I don't think. I think the year before. And then everybody just used it to death, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> and I got a bit bored and fed up of it and it got stuffed in the back of the shelf. Um, so, but I busted that back out. Will it stay? Will it go? It's been around a couple of years. Mm, who knows? So those are the two stamp sets that I'm using today. So let me go ahead and spin you and we'll get on and make it while Carrie's got five minutes. Okay, hang on. So, watch where you put your fingers, Valerie. Loosen that one, spin it round, round you go. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we are. Not bad. Not bad. You seem really high today. How are we looking? A bit wobbly. How are we doing? Let's see if we can't slide you across a bit. How's that? I think we're even more wobbly. Right then. Move you down a bit. So we get a bit more desk in. There we are. Right then. I had everything out ready, and then I don't know what I've done with it. So, there we are. Here's the card today. So, I've got my navy and my red. Knight of navy, real red. My knight of navy is very dry. I need to order an ink refill. Um, so, bear with me if you end up doing a lot of banging about with that. Um, it's really dried out. So, here are the three stamps that I'm going to be using. For my base card, I've just got a real red base card, half sheet of A4, scored that way, so I've got a top fold landscape card. Okay, but we don't need that to the end, pop it to one side. I've then got a piece of Whisper White. This is the thick, I only use the thick now, okay? And I can tell you, because it's on pre-order, that we have got thick vanilla coming our way in the new catalogue which I am super, super excited, excited about. I love this thick white. And then I've had a couple of times when I've wanted to use vanilla. I don't often use vanilla, but there has been a couple of times when I've wanted to use it and gone, I wish we had a thick version of that. So I'm really pleased that we're getting thick vanilla. Okay, and I have cut this to just a few mil, um, something like one, two mil on each side, short, smaller than the card base, basically. Okay. Right then, the other thing we are going to need are some post-it notes. Okay, here are my post-it notes. Okay. All right then. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start with the big cross through the middle. And I, I do admit completely and utterly that I did actually have to go online and find a picture of the UK flag. I knew roughly how it looked, don't get me wrong, but um, I couldn't quite remember <laughs> I couldn't quite remember we're still quite wonky aren't we okay right then so I'm going to use my grid board as usual to kind of get me sort of centered up and I'm going to start with one and I do overlap these so and that's okay it just means I end up with that slightly thicker square darker square through the middle but that's okay I don't mind well not too much anyway and I'm going to do one from this side, like so. And then this is just the width of here, okay? And you end up with one whole one. And I think I would prefer it maybe masked, but I'm not going to bother. So, again, I'm going to aim for the middle. 
I'm going to go that way. And then I'm actually going to go that way as well. Over the top. There we are. So I've got my cross through the centre now. That part. Okay. But the, the main thing, one of the unique things about our flag is actually we have this sort of this white gap. So I could have just crossed that straight through the centre like that and joined it up. And as you can see, I missed, I actually missed it just there in that corner. But actually part of our flag is that we have these white lines in between. That's how our flag goes. So that's where the post-it notes come in, basically. And we are just going to mask off. So we're going to start in this corner. Okay, so that we've got, we're going to mask off the stripe we've already done, plus a tiny white gap, effectively. Okay, and I shall have one over here because it's quite a long stamp and it'll stamp right down here. So this is the long thin one from Work of Art. Okay, so go ahead, stamp that into that corner like that. And then when we remove these, you see that we end up with that little white border and we're just going to do that all the way around on all four. So you just need to just have a little bit of patience because you're just going to work your way around. Looks like my red could do with a bit of a, a refill as well. Okay. Like so. Round we go, there, 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 and then final corner, there, there. I am rushing it a bit. I know you'd take more time over it. Okay. And that one up there. Now, technically, we have a larger white gap on one side than on the other, but we can only go so far. <laughs> we can only do so much. Right then. And then when they're done, we have to fill in these triangles with navy. So for that, I've gone for this one from Happy Celebrations, um, just because it seemed the sort of the right sort of shape anyway, just to fill it in. But I think you could probably work, because of the masking, you could probably work with one of the ones from Work of Art as well, to be honest with you. So, so then we mask off again. Okay, and then just that one down there, just to cover... And as I say, my navy is, this is still one of the old ink pads and I've probably never re-inked it in my whole entire life. I'm not sure I even own a navy re-inker, to be honest with you. So, we really are <laughs> scrabbling for every little bit of ink we can get out of there. Okay. And then we're just filling in again, filling in the gaps. So bit of a gap there, bit of a gap there, stop it from coming over here, and round we go again. Alright, how far out you come out to here is entirely up to you, obviously. And I thought this card was quite sort of apt, given that everybody's in Amsterdam weekend and it would have made a good swap card except I'm not sure I could have um, coped with making this many swaps for Amsterdam could you how many swap cards do you normally make if you go I'm a bit terrible I don't make any I don't like the repetition to be perfectly honest with you of doing it over and over again <laughs> I get bored too easily 
side. Maybe this way around for that one. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, it's just a stamped version. You're probably all getting really bored now. Because you've got the... Oh, yeah, I'll get how you did it, Valerie. I can't speed it up, sorry. It don't go any quicker. All missing bits now as well, look. Right then, I have to admit, this is not my normal kind of card at all. Actually, if you look on my blog, you wouldn't normally see these sorts of cards at all. This is a bit fussy for me, if I'm completely honest with you. This is far more messing about than I would normally do. Somebody's joined. Oh, hi, Susan. Susan is in New Zealand and Susan is heading off for her local on stage or may even have already arrived now. So I'm very jealous of Susan. I love her. I'm jealous of her. <laughs> right now. Urgh. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yeah. One more. One more. Are we losing people rapidly? Oh, not too bad, actually. You've all, st you've all got painters and the saints, haven't you? Oh, right then. Last one. Carrie's back in. Oh, I'm going to have to do my Facebook Live next week with the children at home. That will be fun. <laughs> That's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, I feel the electronic babysitter coming into play. And there we go. It's done. Congratulations, all of you who stayed with me throughout that. <laughs> there we are. Right then, it's done. So we can bring our base card back in. Okay, you're about to go to bed, Susan, but on stage starts in the morning. Could you teleport here? I'd love that. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? I could travel. I would travel the world if I could get there just like that, like something out of Star Trek. I would go everywhere. So it's not that I wouldn't like to see these places. Right, a few dimensionals on the back. Smidgen of a border. So when I did my original card, I just stamped a little, very British, hello, in your, in your best posh British accent, hello, very nice, thank you very much. Um, Carrie says she loves it, she never masks off areas, so she needs to get some post-it notes. I think these aren't even real post-it notes, these are like from Asda or something cheap for a quid, something like that. So, it's not one of the techniques I use very often, but actually, when you do it, you think, wow, but you know what? Where I'd had less ink on this, I think I prefer this version where it's a little bit more mottled and a little bit more messy. These came out a little bit more solid. I must really have gone for the ink on those ones. Um, so they both look good, but I think I prefer that slightly not got enough ink on the stamp look. Okay, so this is just white heat embossed. I think this hello was from Sunshine Sayings, but the other stamp set that I'd thought about putting with it was the, um, I've forgotten the name now, even though I looked it up just earlier and now I can't see it. Chase Your Dreams. Chase Your Dreams, that's one. Because Chase Your Dreams has got all these fun European images in it. And one of them is uh, for the London and it's Tower Bridge, which is this one. Okay, I did have to think about that because I wanted to say it was the Tower of London and obviously it isn't the Tower of London, it's Tower Bridge. <laughs> so, Baz says, driving... Driving around to get this card. You need to send it to America. But you could make an American one. You could. I've seen Americans done with this stamp set. I've seen Americans done with the work of art ones. And they look fabulous. But I thought this would be especially fun. Especially if you were trying to say hello to somebody. You know, perhaps abroad. I thought it would be fun. So again, I've just heat embossed it in white onto the red um, cardstock. And then, but I was, I was worried it would cover up too much of my Union Jack, but actually, now I've trimmed it right down, actually, it doesn't. So, inspired to make my cake crazier. Um, I think it probably was actually, Susan. I think subconsciously, certainly, I think in the back of my head, 
um it was the red white and blue and then what you'd done and i think yeah it was kind of like oh good plan good plan you need to do a new zealand one susan that's the thing you need to do a new zealand flag i can't remember what the new zealand flag looks like to you know whether that's going to be really easy or really hard <laughs> so there we are right then let's spin you round again let's bring you back round let's bring you back round so you see the mess round the mess goes back to my lovely face there we go right then okay i'll back up i'll push that back again there we are oh we've ended up really low there we are oh no there we are right then so the union jack but with stars an all black swan baz said oh that's a good idea <laughs> well i shall set you all a challenge off you go <laughs> Let's see your country's flags now. I've shown you mine, you show me yours. <laughs> right then, so I hope you've liked today's project. Goodness, we've been on for ages already. I was in my head, I was like, we'll make it a quick one. So I will be back next Friday. Next Friday, thank you for bringing it on stage to us. Just like having a demo. Do you know, they've never asked me. Like, I feel a little bit put out occasionally. I've never been asked to present on stage ever and i always think that would be good and then i think it would be terrifying <laughs> so you can all drip, drop hints to paula if you like because she's really good honestly right so i will be back next friday even though it's good friday i am going to pop in um normally on the second friday i have my big online class for where we make like three projects all together um I'm not going to do that this time because it's Good Friday. The children are at home. My husband's at home. Holiday type stuff. You're all going to do holiday stuff. Um, so you don't want to be sat watching me for over an hour. So we'll pop in and we will do a quick card. I don't know what yet, but we'll do something. Um, and then if I can fit the class in later in the month, I will. If not, we'll definitely do it in May. And hopefully by then we'll have some sneak peek products too from the new catalogue and things like that. OK, I should have um, my new in colours that came from the Eastern Palace here. I had hoped to have them today, but they didn't make it out of the warehouse until late yesterday. So they won't be here till Monday. So I will have those next week. So maybe I might try and sneak some of those in. So come by and see what I create with my lemon line twist. <laughs> um, on the blog, I have now put up my um, request catalogue form and I will also put a link to it um at the top of this blog post when i go back and do the editing i will put it in so if you want to request a copy of the new catalog from me um i will happily send one out to you when i get them in may okay so just give me a shout on that obviously if you want to see it before then get in join stampin up now order from it see it all of that get in um retired list monday evening okay so watch out for that I will probably get it onto the Facebook page first and then farm it out to the blog and the newsletter and my private groups and what have you. But here first, because this is the quickest way I think I can get it to you and then we'll take it from there. But don't hang about. As I say, I've been a demonstrator for nine years, so I've seen the retired list come and go many times now. Um, the in colours will probably be sold out. They'll probably turn them off before we even get there. Most of them are already on back order and they'll honour those back orders. But at some point between now and Monday, they are going to turn those off and accept no more back orders. So don't hang about. Just get those now. Don't even wait for Monday for the in colours if you need them. Um, I shall miss watermelon wonder the most. So let me know which one you're going to miss the most because that would be the one I miss. Um, after that usually punches goes pretty quick um any retiring punches they normally go fast followed up by popular dyes they usually go quite fast as well um papers tend in my experience generally tend not to sell out and stamps they can keep manufacturing so occasionally they sell out but um quite sometimes they don't either so my my top tips would be in colors first and then um, punches and dies will be the next thing to go. So if those are the sorts of things you want to pick up, do not hang about. Be on here Monday at eight o'clock 
to get your order in okay order from me using my host code my reward code and you will earn entry to the crafty carrot you'll get a gift from me a card from me you'll be into my vip stampers exclusive facebook group all kinds of stuff okay so loads of great rewards for shopping with me so jump on and use my host code if you want to get in on those as well once I have some sneak peeks and things I will be sharing them once I'm able to once we're allowed to so um, watch out for those on the blog and on the Facebook page over the next couple of weeks and um, I will see you back here live on Friday and obviously put various posts up during the course of the week so enjoy your weekend the rest of your friday and your weekend if you're coming to class with me tonight the chocolate brownies smell lovely mm, yummy and we have three great projects so i will see you guys tonight and the rest of you i will see you really soon okay bye for now